You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I appreciate it. Today I'm going to check out a very special box from Learning Resources. I do need to say thanks to them for sending this to me for free to show you on video today. It's loaded with stuff. As you see on the side, we have Learning Resources beaker creatures and it's like a slimy dripping down from the uh, top edge of the box lab in a box let's turn this around let's see this side says color change station authorized operators only then we have beaker creatures lab in a box as they're jumping out of the package and this looks like a bunch of gauges and other cool stuff so i have no idea exactly what's in here so let's get to the Unboxing, I guess you would call it. All right, here we go. Let's see what's inside now. A lot of times they just send me stuff and I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll check it out. Okay, so we have some tissue. Let's get the tissue out of the way. All right, there's uh, what looks to be a little, uh, like a new little booklet or comic book that they're gonna be doing there is issue number one we will check uh, check that out in a little bit here let's see what else we got and then I have a bag okay so this looks like a nice storage bag and then let's see all right oh I've got some little boxes of beaker creatures reactor pods all right collect them all let's see I got three I mean two three four three-piece sets and then a bigger box in here Ooh, look at that it's the beaker creatures bubbling volcano reactor hmm that looks like it's gonna be fun all right so let me do this I will come back now organize some things we'll take a look at all the packaging and the little comic book and then I will uh, get started all right figured we start with this beaker creatures issue one from learning resources there is the back Let's just check it out and see what it's all about. From their tiny distant planets, new beaker creatures travel towards Earth in search of science adventures. Luckily, they have friends waiting for them. Ooh, that's nice to have friends waiting for you. Clank, clank. Through the yard and up the stairs, the creatures roll the mysterious pod to the liquid reactor, Super Lab. Ooh, very nice. Drop the pod, climb the plungers, and jump. So then they're pushing the plungers, jump, and they push them down, and boom, it goes. It's Raboto, a never-before-seen beaker creature. This calls for a party. He isn't alone, though. There are many more beaker creatures to discover and many more science adventures in store. And there you go. You can check them all out right there. And this is the one we have today, and I believe I've done this one before. I've not seen these other ones, personally, anyway. And then here are all the different... Series, series one, series two, series three. Over a hundred to collect. All right, so let's check out the little boxes. You, they go along with the main volcano. So we'll get them all in here. All right, so I'll just put two here so we can see them a little bit better. So now we have, well, there's say three piece sets, ages five plus, series two. All right, so they're all series two. Yes, they are all series two. All right, so on the side, it shows you everything in Series 2. And then here, it shows you three-piece set includes and then tells you everything that's in there. Collect them all. And this side of the little box shows you how to extract your beaker creature. All right, now the big box. Check this out. Collect them all. Extract. Identify. Explore. Science Revealed comes with five amazing experiments. It's a six-piece set. There is Collect Them All. After traveling through space from their tiny distant planets, they've landed on Earth in search of science adventures. And they need your help. Extract them from their reactor pods and explore their worlds through the fun facts and amazing experiments. Okay, and this is how you set it up. Looks like they give you all the steps. And then the last side of the box. Let's see. That's it about us. We want to help your kids love learning. That's why we create toys that spark understanding turn I think I can too I know I can and help kids feel like everything is possible for over 30 years learning resources toys and have empowered kids all over the world to build critical skills and get ready to take on the world let's learn together at learningresources.com.com then there's the top 
pretty neat. Well, that's cool. We'll leave it like that. And I'll come back now and get it out of the package and check them out. All right, let's get our bubbling volcano reactor out of the package. Here we go, a little instruction booklet. That's always good to have. And then our reactor. And I think that is it. So that's what we have to work with today. Let's take a quick look. The pod must be here, and there it is. All right, so they give us one blue. All right. Okay, and this is what the reactor looks like. And if you're wondering, this does not, let's see. Okay, so this does not turn. It's just a nice effect on your volcano. So it looks like you're just gonna put it in there and then watch it react, and you're gonna have to dig it out. Let's see, here we go. Okay, so there's this little card here naming it. There's some historical information. We Oceanites have heard all about Earth's cool ocean animals. Let's meet some now. It's really nice when you get a kit and you can learn about ocean creatures. Here, read that. Bello Carl Mari. Okay. And then here's the instructions, and there's a nice big color brochure or flyer that shows you over 100 creatures. Look at all of those wonderful creatures to collect. Series 1, Series 2, and Series 3, and then the instructions. So that's what I need to do. Well, let's get one of these out of the box so you can see what's in these as well. Then I'll come back. I'll just have them all out for you. Okay, so that's packaged like that. Nice little protective cardboard. There's the yellow one. And then we have the card again. Let's see if they're different. They are different. Oh, I wonder if you can build a whole ocean scene with these, like stack them together. I don't know. And then... Just a little difference there to those. And then this little flyer now kind of has some other facts you can learn. So it's nice to see non-repetitive information where you can learn even more. And there's Collect Them All Series 2. Okay, so that is that. Well, let's just see what we got in the other pods here real quick. Oh, we got a green one. Now, it's nice. It's printed green on the inside. The other one was printed yellow. Different cards, Swampoids. And then a different brochure. More reading for you. Okay, and then there is the back. Hey, what I'll do, maybe I'll scan some of this. So I'll have little interruptions in our moments together where you can research and learn. Poiple. Okay, this card, a little different. Frostonians. All right, and then another little brochure. Don't fret, I will try to scan that so you don't have to read it. And then last but not least, what color is this one? Another yellow one. Okay. And now we have seen them all. Okay, so there we go, the fire lights. Let's check all these. Okay, there you go, there you go, there you go. So you get to see them all. And then this here. I guess I'll just never go when I break for a little commercial interruption. There you go. I will be back. All right, here we go. This is experiment numero uno. Let's experiment. Uh, unwrap and place a reactor pod in the center of the volcano base. All right, that's simple enough. Let's just get that open. Pour water into the volcano over the pod. Okay, that's in there. And then lift the capsule from the volcano and open it to reveal your beaker creature. Here we go. That was pretty neat. Let's dig them out, see what we have. I wonder if he's ready. I got two spoons just for this moment. Okay, so it's still fizzing and bubbling. Cool. All right, so let me just give you a little 
shot of that. Maybe I'll pour in a little more water so you can watch it from this angle now. Here we go. There we go. Now I must identify my little creature, so I will do that uh, when I come back, but let's uh, now check out another experiment. All right, I am back. I was uh, looking at my little creature here, and I have one of the Oceanites. I got Pertle, and Pertle is a green, a little beaker there which is a common. So that's what I got for my first one. And then I was looking at the instructions for the volcano, the bubbling volcano. I'm looking at it going, hmm, it looks like you don't use one of the reactor pods. It's just like a regular old fashioned volcano with vinegar and baking soda. And I thought, hmm, maybe I'll just put one in there anyway, just for fun. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do the bubbling volcano next, all right? So I got everything I need including my measuring spoon. So I am going to put, it says two teaspoons of baking soda. So 
So I'm going to put some on the bottom and some on the top of my pot. So I'm kind of experimenting now. There's one. There to go. Put that in there. There's two. Okay, that's really nice. And then some red food coloring. It said several drops. So let's just get those in there. Okay, I might add more after I pour this in. Alright, so I'll get the camera set. We'll get a nice close-up shot of the vinegar going in. And then here we go. This is experiment number two. We'll leave this little guy here in the corner. He should stay safe there. Cool little stripes it made on there. All right, so I'm just gonna let that fizz out and it'll eventually, you know, I got a little water to that now to clear that out a little. There we go. Ah, very cool, all right. I'll just let that bubble a little bit and check it in a minute and see what happens. That was really neat how that was floating around. Look at the texture it created on that. That is really cool. Let me just set that in here in the middle of the tray. That's pretty neat how that came out. We'll get to our little beaker creature here. There he is. Okay, who do we get? Okay, there he is. Pretty cute little guy, huh? Put him there. Well, that's what we have. We got this one already. They're both pretty cute. I will see if I can find that one right away. He is a purple looking creature with red horns. Purple with red horns. Hmm, don't see it right away. All right, well, time to try the next experiment. That one involves it's pretty much the same ingredients, but dish soap. So let me clean up, come back and do the next one. I'll figure out this one and let you know when I get back. All right, so now the volcano, I did not follow directions exactly like I said. I did my own thing here. It is a little bit different to what they recommend. They wanted you to put the vinegar and the food coloring in first, then add the uh, baking soda. So I'm gonna do it now. This one here is a little bit different, the Foaming Volcano. Now this one says, uh, baking soda, red food coloring, vinegar, spoon, dish soap. Place your beaker creature at the bottom of the volcano for a close up look, then follow directions from bubbling. Okay, let's do this light greenish one. So the first, uh, the second experiment was really kind of my own. All right, so there we go. Now follow the directions for the bubbling volcano above. Let me get my baking soda 
handy. Okay, so that's handy. And this, and food coloring. So now it says, place the volcano. Okay, pour the vinegar and red food coloring into the center of the volcano. Stir to mix. Okay, so we have to follow those. <laughs> Do I look in there? Ooh, look at that. My egg is changing colors. Then the vinegar. Now baking soda. Then mix it. Oh no, that was pre-mixing. Now add the soap. It should be different, let's see. Okay. Okay, look at that. So now the foaminess is changing. You see that? It's slowing it down. And then it says, uh, add, keep adding vinegar to make the eruption pop again. All right, so let's get more vinegar. Okay, now watch. Ooh, look at that. That's really cool. I like that. Much better. What do you think about that one? That's like a slower, foamier kind of reaction with the dish soap. So it's kind of hard to do it all quick because it, it, yeah, that's really how they said to do it. So, okay, so what's going on? Did your egg float? That's what it said. Did the eruption eject your creature from the volcano or did it settle to the bottom? It settled to the bottom for me. Let's see what it looks like in there. Each time I gotta take this and clean it all out, so. Yeah, look at that, it's hard to even see in there. Well, let's add some more, hey, experimentation time. Got plenty of vinegar, got plenty of baking soda. Okay, some more food coloring, just for fun. Just a little, just a few drops. One more squirt of this. Now the vinegar, here we go. This is gonna be cool. One more time. All right, I'll let that record. Oh, look at my little creatures back there. Oh, did I tell you who I found? I did not. Chark, he's a firelights, and his name is Chark. Chark! All right, the last, let's see. I do have one more here. While that's doing that, see, you will need water, one tablespoon vegetable oil, and salt. Okay, place your beaker creature at the bottom of the volcano, pour the water in the center of the volcano base nearly to the top, add the vegetable oil. Now spread the salt over the oil. Okay, well, let's do that one. Let's get this one out there. We gotta play with it now. Still got a lot of its skin. Ooh, look at that. That is weird looking. Mmm. Let's see if I could find this one right away. Okay, so look at him. Hey, cute little guy there. That looks like gurgle, actually. Gurgle. That's gurgle. All right, well, let me clean this all up. And I will be back. That was my cleaning. No, I'll be right back with the final experiment. All right, Chaotic Cauldron. That is the next one. Now, I didn't read any of this here, but all that little information kind of talks you through some of the effects that are going on here. So this one is Cauldron, a cauldron is a large pot used for boiling food over an open fire. It can also refer to an intense situation, such as that encountered by the beaker creatures during their first trip to Yellowstone Park. There they saw Old Faithful, the legendary geyser that bubbles and spits tall plumes of boiling water every day for up to five minutes. 
your creature wants to try floating up on some bubbles in this recreation experiment. Let's see what happens. Know this, salt dissolves in water, but water and oil do not mix. Place your beaker creature at the bottom of the volcano. Now I'm gonna, I let, took the yellow one out because I'll probably just make a final, you know, mess here. Why not? That's what we're doing. We're experimenting. And uh, of course they did recommend the tray, so I've got plenty of trays. Pour the water into the center of the volcano base, nearly to the top, add the vegetable oil. Now I have the vegetable oil and salt ready to go. Now spread the salt over the oil. So here we go. Do, 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 do. Water nearly to the top. Okay. Well, over a little. Now the oil. And now the salt. Ooh, look at that. Well, look at that. So it's bubbling even more than before. Watch the reaction. The salt carries some oil into the water. Okay. Forcing the oil to quickly surge back into place, creating a formation of bubbles. Do we have a formation of bubbles? I would say so. What happened to your creature? Did he also bubble up to the surface? I don't know. I don't see him yet. Let's see. But that is a pretty blue. He is at the surface. Look at that. Hmm. What do you think? Now we just uh, let it all happen here. Those are cool looking bubbles too. Look at that. Let's try that again. Let's put a little more oil in there. I'll, I'll prep it up here. See if we get the same results. And then I'll just pour the salt directly from I lose a little bit of oil off the side. Here we go. Okay. Oh, he's twisting and turning. Look at that. He's moving around. Man, what do you say we got a little vinegar in there, huh? Let's see what happens now. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, what's going to happen to this one? Let's just leave that one in the tray. Seems like all my little friends now are having fun together. Let's do this. Let's add a little bit of this. Let's add that on this guy over here. <laughs> Look at the oil on my tray. You see it in different spots. It's pretty cool and a neat color it made. Okay, a little more vinegar. how it makes the little bubbles out of there. Okay, last but not least, a little extra color in there, huh? Okay, then I think the last thing would be some water to kind of finalize my little creation. Spills over and Mixes all the colors. How cool is that? All right, I'll just let that record for 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Oh, this stopped fizzing in here. Oh, I could see. Oh yeah, it's almost all the way through. Look at that. Look at how that one looks. That's pretty neat. Let's put you in there. There you go, buddy. Fizz away. Ooh, look at him. Yeah, look at that. Three eyes, three, like, boxing gloves. What's that one? Three eyes with three boxing gloves. Yeah, sometimes it takes me a while to find these. Can you find it quicker, or do you want to watch that? Can you find it quicker, or do you want to watch that? Watch that. Three eyes. Three boxing gloves. Hmm. I don't see it right away. I see six eyes, or five eyes. Still looking for old three eyes.
I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Snowball. He is a color changer. So probably from cold to heat. Get in there. Get in there. You all get in there. Let's have a little mixer upper in there and see if you fit. Oh yeah, you all fit. Okay, no color change. Oh, there he is. Okay, I can't tell. Let's get the last one out. We're almost done. Okay, a little brown one looks like a tree. That is Harther. He's a part of the Firelights. Okay, how was that? Let me clean this up, come back, and then I'll wrap it up with you. All right, there you go. I have him in uh, pretty hot water, so I'm going to move him over to cold and see if there's a color change. Let's see. It looks like he just got a little lighter, but I'm not seeing much of a color change. I'm assuming it's water temperature, and that's kind of cold water. All right, well, there you go. Beaker Creatures Bubbling Volcano Reactor Science Revealed. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learning about this as much as I had... Uh, Fun showing you how to do the different experiments. Now, I kind of strayed a little there from my experiments, but I think overall you get the idea. You can mix different combinations and add, try other food coloring colors, right? You don't have to do just red. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, thanks for supporting and watching Lucky Penny Chef. If I figure out the best way to get him to change colors, unless I misrepresented that. Let me see. I know he's in the Frostonians. He's ultra rare, so that has got to be Snowball. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, Pick it up!